morning, you to land. I'm your host, TK31, back for another video today. And right now, I'm going to be reviewing the Black Panther Vibranium Black Panther and the and Eric Killmonger from the new Black Panther movie. So excited to. I can't wait to go see it. It's going to be awesome. I hope. Well, the trailers look awesome, so. Right now, I am just going to do a quick brief review of these two. First, let's do the star of the show, Black Panther himself. So you get a cool image there. Or Black Panther, if you can see it. You probably can't. Stupid lighting. And Avenger symbol. Make sure of the figure. Make sure of Black Panther. Black Panther. Side of the packaging, nothing. Bottom, there's blackness. In the back of the patching, cool picture of Black Panther. You can also get Killmonger and Sur Sarai. I hope I'm saying it right, I don't know. And if you want to read that, then you definitely can pause the video. Okay, and there's not very much of a difference with Killmonger. That's just what I'm going to call him for short. Just like yellow. I like it. Cool. Free run. Killmonger. And if you want to read that, you certainly can. Pause the video and I will give you a moment to. Okay. Now, let's get these guys open up. Ah, oh, they're plastic prisons. Okay, so I got these guys open up. And first, let's take a look at the Vibranium Black Panther and his accessories first off is a very cool vibranium spear love the nice detailing on the blade there looks nice and let me just take a look at Killmonger's accessories got a cool like dagger or something very very cool and another like I don't know what to call this, scythe or axe, I guess. Okay, so, get a closer look at the Vibranium Black Panther, and holy god, the lighting. Okay. So, I love the nice blue to, like, represent his light-up vibranium type, like, thing as you ever seen in the movie. So, I love that. They did pretty good on the paint job of the necklace, but I wish he actually like had the more of the movie accurate paint job, but that's just me. And I guess for figures like this, I don't really expect much. So, so I guess it's I guess it's good. I like it. And for articulation, the head is on a ball joint, but. Can't really go all the way around. You can go up and down. Arms can move about that far. Elbows move around about that far. You can do a nice karate kick. You can't do a very good back kick, and you cannot move it out like that. So they are pretty limited for articulation, but it's still pretty cool. And next is Killmonger. Got a very nice, cool, gold. For some reason, I thought his name was Jaguar, for some reason. I must be thinking of someone else. And for our shape for him, it's the same. Pretty much the same. And they stand pretty good next to each other. And now... For a quick comparison, this is the um, Marvel Legends Black Panther. I already did a review of that, so definitely go check that out. I wish they made a Marvel Legends of like the Vibranium set. I thought that would be cool, but they didn't, and I still hope they do. I can only only one can only dream. Now for me, final thoughts. Pretty much, I think. If you want 
some cool Black Panther figures. I definitely think that these would be cool to definitely check out at, like, Toys R Us or Walmart or something. But, if you want something, like, really movie accurate, they definitely go for, like, the Marvel Legends. But, if you still want to get cool Black Panther figures, then you should definitely get these. But, that's going to be all for this video today. So, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe to become a part of the Spider Kingdom. Hasta la vista, boys and girls. Good boy.